What's up everybody? Welcome back to It Came From Beyond the Video Store Shelves as we continue our journey in watching every movie in my ever-growing VHS collection. And uh, this week, I kind of wanted, I was in the mood for something a little different. Um, up until now, we've been doing mainly horror films. Uh, but last night, I was in the mood for something a little lighter. So, we're going to go back to 1985 today, and we're going to talk about School Spirit. So, this um, this particular copy of School Spirit is a media release. Um, it does have all the flaps intact, but this box is um, pretty raggedy. You see, you got a, a good rip in the front here. It's taped back together. Um, this is something I picked up at a thrift store just because it looked like an interesting film. Um, I really dig uh, these 80s like teen college sex comedies that's just, you know, perverted and goofy for really no reason. And that's kind of um, what School Spirit is. So <clears throat> in School Spirit, um, you're following... The main character is a college student, Billy Badson, who is pretty much uh, trying to get laid. That's what this whole movie is about, is Billy trying to get, you know, with some, uh, a lot of the co-eds running around the campus of this school. So, you know, the movie opens and Billy's trying to seduce... Um, you know, a very proper female. They break into the principal's office or the dean of this college, however you want to look at it. And he's trying to seduce this girl that they're supposed to be working on a benefit. He's supposed to be helping this, this woman put on this benefit for the school. And instead, he's trying to kit, you know, in her pantyhose. But so things start to get a little heavy and Billy realizes that he doesn't have protection he doesn't have a condom on him um, and this girl although she's willing to partake uh, she doesn't want to do it without protection so Billy decides that he's gonna haul ass and find a condom somewhere so he goes to this you know bar in the middle of nowhere to get some condoms out of their vending machine in the bathroom. And on the way back, he ends up being ran over by an 18-wheeler. And he dies. Heaven sends Billy's uncle, Pinky, who had been deceased for some time, to go in, get Billy, and bring him to heaven. But... You know, what Pinky doesn't realize is Billy is both perverted and sneaky as fuck. And, you know, Uncle Pinky kind of carries the family trait himself. So, Billy gets this idea that, you know, Pinky shows him that as a ghost, you could actually uh, materialize yourself into a human form. Um, whenever you want to by waving your hand above your head so Billy gets this bright idea that instead of going to heaven right away he's gonna go and try to finish what he started with this young lady before he leaves he's gonna go ahead now that he has this condom he could turn himself back into you know a human form He's going to go get this pussy before he has to go to heaven. That's his entire plan. So what he does is he keeps throwing his perverted Uncle Pinky off the path. You know, he, he kind of introduces him to this girl. Oh, look, there's a, a beautiful woman over here. Go talk to her. And while Pinky's trying to, you know, spit his game, you know, his grandpa game, Billy will sneak off and disappear and try to you know, put things in motion. So, Billy escapes, he gets away from Pinky, 
And, you know, through the rest of the film, he's kind of pursuing this one woman who really seems to be, you know, stuck on getting everything situated for this event that she's putting on. She's trying to do this event. That way she could get good recommendations from the school and, you know, she could try to get out of there. She could try to move up um, the ladder, as you'd say. So the whole film, Billy's kind of pursuing this girl. You know, of course, he's going in and out of ghost form to do, you know, the basic hijinks that anyone who could turn into a ghost would do. You know, sneak into the girl's shower look at a bunch of titties, do some little pranks on people, you know, the fun kind of stuff. But along the way, Billy meets um, this other woman, this woman who is an ancestor of the person who the school is named after. She comes from France, and she's um, considering making a sizable donation to the school so the whole time you know this girl is trying to put on this banquet and you know the dean of this school is trying to get everything in motion you know kiss this woman's ass so she would make this donation and you know there's really kind of a ferris bueller type vibe between Billy and the Dean. The Dean thinks Billy's a fuck up. Um, He doesn't like him. He thinks he's trouble. You know, to be fair, he is. So they kind of go back and forth throughout the whole movie with shit like that. And the whole time, you know, he's trying to impress this woman to get this money so he could tear down, you know, this uh, dormitory where Billy and all his friends are living, where they're causing all these problems for, the for you know, the faculty and, and the college or whatever. They're being a nuisance. He wants to tear this dormitory down and put in a new building, and that's what he's going to use this money for. But unfortunately for him, you know, Billy and this woman who's going to make this donation uh, meet up, and they end up being you know, pretty fond of each other. So then the film kind of shifts from Billy chasing this one girl to now, you know, he's infatuated with this new woman. And they kind of team up and, you know, he begins to show her like the underbelly of this, um, you know, of this university and all this stuff and all the fun you could have and shit like that. Uh, You know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what School Spirit is all about. And, you know, these movies are really a dime a dozen. You know, all these kind of sex comedies are, you know, pretty much the same. But I do enjoy them, man. Sometimes you like to be able to just watch something, you know, with dick and fart jokes and just be able to turn off for a little while and fucking just enjoy just, you know, stupid stuff. Just pointless stupid humor you know it, it's nice to do that every once in a while and and that's kind of what i enjoy to do with movies like uh school spirit um this one honestly is not as bad as many of these you know even though there, there's a whole bunch of boobs in this uh, some of these movies you know they just kind of find some female actors and it's like who is willing to show boobs and they they kind of build the movie around that um school spirit was a little different it did have you know a story and it was fluid even though you know it it was kind of a a cookie cutter storyline it's something that you you know you've seen a hundred times they made a million movies like this but school spirit did a pretty decent job i mean it's a cohesive film it's It's watchable. You could actually enjoy this movie. It's not something that you would, you know, rent and put in and and fucking fast forward between, you know, the different women showing their boobs. This is a movie that you could actually watch. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. It had some good parts. You know, I had had a couple things that made me laugh. So I would, um, you know, I would probably give School Spirit a five. I'd say it's middle of the road. Um, It's not one of the best, you know, teen summer sex comedies out there, 
but it's definitely not one of the worst ones. You know, it, it's worth watching. You know, it's kind of mid ground. It's a decent movie. Um, like I said, I had the media VHS. I'm not sure what these things sell for. Um, I've haven't seen it. Um, you know, up on the internet anywhere for sale. I haven't really sought after it, but it's not a tape you see often um, from people that's just selling, you know, bulk tapes or whatever. Um, not sure if they did a Blu-ray release of this, but it is streaming free on, uh, I believe, Amazon and Plex. So if you wanted to watch it streaming, you could do it that way. Um, I recommend checking it out, man. Uh, it's it's a decent flick, man. It's enjoyable. There's a bunch of boobs in it. There's a couple moments that'll make you laugh. It's a win-win. So anyway, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, until next time, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on YouTube. Um, you know, we're pretty much everywhere. Anywhere you want to follow us, we're there. If you want to check out the Facebook, if you want to look at the Instagram, the TikTok, any of that crap. Uh, we really appreciate it. Until next time, man, you guys take it easy. Hogs and hogettes, are you ready? Here comes Mr. It's Hog Day at Lavator College. Do you have a thing? Yes, I have a thing. No, not that thing. The other thing. And Billy Batson has a problem. If you're dead, that makes two of us pal. Oh! Billy Batson is a ghost. Look. Cindy, is that you? When Billy Batson comes back to school as a ghost, he sees things he's never seen before. Being dead does have its advantages. You've got to get off here. I want surprises. You just have to look at them to see who these people mind it. Then again, what do you expect? <laughs> and it certainly doesn't keep this party animal from the biggest monster hog out of all time. How old are you anyway? Old enough stud. I don't want to see you near my daughter again. That innocent little flower is my treasure. <laughs> I have a wife anyway. Uh, uh, would you sit down, please? Uh, don't, no, no. Would you close the doors? Uh, wait a minute, what? 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 Ah! Civilization as we have known it came to an end tonight. No, Anybody no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Billy, I think the cops are after us. School spirit. This is one ghost that should be busted. School spirit.